Well, hello and welcome back to yet another PlayStation 4 video here on So That's Gaming. I'm your host, Laramis, and let's go ahead and roll that intro. We'll get things set up for you. Alright, so like I said, welcome back. Another PlayStation 4 video. This time we're going to be using something different than the Raspberry Pi to jailbreak our console. It's gonna, we're going to use the Luck Fox Pico. It's, it's basically a you know, Raspberry Pi based you know, single board. It's more classified as a microcontroller than it is a SBC or you know, single board computer. So let's go and pull this out. This is what it looks like. Pretty neat. So it has a, uh, well, there's a couple different models you can use, but you'll want to use the one like the Pro, the Max, or the uh, Plus. As long as it has the Ethernet port, you should be good to go. But uh, no soldering required. Uh, I think there are some sites that where you could probably order a case for this, but I don't have a case for it, so it's just going to be sitting there all, all bare knuckling in. So, so things you'll need for this. If you haven't jailbroken your PlayStation 4 before and you're on it at firmware version 11 and lower, this should work for you. You'll need your, your Luckfox Pico, a USB-C cable, and an Ethernet cable to, plug, uh, to hook this up to your PlayStation. Of course, you'll need the same USB Type-C cable to connect to your computer to program the Pico. Uh, you'll need a USB flash drive uh, that's formatted to XFAT or FAT32 with the gold hand payload on the root of it. Everything else is going to go on our Pico. So let's go to the computer and we're going to get a few things ready. All right, first thing, we're going to need a few things before we get started here. We have the, uh, the our, a driver assist, which will allow us to... You know, connect the P, uh, the Luck Fox to our computer. We'll need the SOC toolkit. We'll need the download from the GitHub for the um, the boot image. Uh, we'll need to use Moba X term to actually write the um, jailbreak or yeah to the exploit to the uh, Pico afterwards and get it installed. So first, we're gonna do is we're gonna get this driver assistant installed so that we can. Get that up and running. Here we are. Install driver. You'll get a little pop up like this, possibly. We're gonna say, go ahead and install, because we trust it. This will pop up saying we're okay, and we're good. We can go ahead and close that. So, we can go and get rid of that since that's installed. The next thing what we're gonna want to do is make sure we have our uh, boot image downloaded. In this case, it's here. It is right here. Uh, now, there are multiple versions of this available depending on which model of the Pico that you choose. You can choose the Pico Pro Max or the Plus Mini. Um, you can even use the Mini A if you want to use a micro SD card. But in this case, I'm going to be using the Pro slash Max. So this is the image that I, that I download because it has its own built-in NAND. And we won't need to use an SD card. Even though it has an SD card slot, won't be need to be using that. So, next thing we need to do, we need to open up the SOC toolkit. Let me run this as administrator. We do that by right clicking and choosing run as administrator. Again, that'll pop up. Okay. Close this. All right, so after the Rockchip SOC Toolkit is launched, we're going to press and hold the boot button on our Luckfox Pico. And while we're holding it, we're going to plug in the USB cable. You'll hear it beep, and then you'll see right here where it'll populate, MaskRom 1344. From here, we have to go and select the path, go and load up our... Um, image to write to the NAND. I've already selected it here. Just navigate to the folder and choose select folder. Do you want to reload? And yes, we want to reload that. And so we're going to check this box up here and it'll highlight everything here. After that, we're going to choose download. And 
depending on your system, this process could take just a couple of minutes. All right, there we're at. Once it says it's done, you're good to go here. All right, once this is done, the next step is go ahead and configure the network adapter it creates using your LuckFox. Here it'll say remote NDIS based internet sharing device. If that, if you're not sure if this is the correct device, you can always unplug your LuckFox Pico and plug it back in. And once it shows up, in this case, you'll say remote NDIS based internet shared sharing device. We're gonna right click, go down to properties. We're gonna double click on internet protocol version four, and we're gonna assign the following address 173.32.0.100 and we're going to click the subnet mask and it'll automatically fill in hit okay okay and then we're done the next thing we need to do we can close this now we're going to load up moba x term and choose run as administrator we'll close this window right here we're going to start a new session SSH, the remote host address is gonna be one. We're gonna click session, and in this window, we're gonna choose SSH, and we're gonna choose the address 172.32.0.93. No, not 100, I don't know, it is what it is. Go ahead and make sure it's selected on port 22, and hit okay. You should be greeted with a login, pass, uh, login screen. The login is root. The password is luckfox, one word, all lowercase. Enter. Sure, we can save the password, whatever. Uh, cancel. We don't want to do that. All right, so once you're on the route here, in the screen over here on the right, this is where we're going to download, go to the luckfox folder. We're going to extract this um, PPPWN for luckfox. Currently, the folder includes some numbers on it, but we're going to go ahead and change this. Make sure it's just luckfox or pppwn luckfox. And we're going to open this up. We're going to drop this entire folder into this area here. And so I'm going to copy everything. Once that's done, we have one more little thing we have to do. We have to install the software. I will include this uh, text will be available in the GitHub. So here is the script that we have to install next. So we're just going to copy all this. Control C. I'm going to close that. We can right click. Okay. We're going to paste that and we're going to hit enter. We're going to go through these options to make sure we have it set up correctly. In my case, I'm going to use version 11. So I'm going to hit E, enter. Uh, you have selected firmware 11. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Do you want to use the web server features? Sure, why not? Let's see. Please select a PPPWN executable you want to use. Uh, just a regular PPPWN, a normal stable release for some PS4 models, or an updated IPv6, which is compatible for all models. Let's go ahead and do B. You have selected the following. You can shut down after jailbreak. Yes, these are all, all these settings are correct. <laughs> there we go. Session stopped. I think. I think it just reconnected. Let's just double check. Okay, it's rebooted. So after that, we're done. We can go ahead and disconnect this. Now we're gonna go back over to the PlayStation 4. All right, right now we have our PlayStation 4 powering up. It was off at a completely off state. So let's see what we got going on. All right, on our PlayStation, we're gonna have to set up our internet settings properly. We're gonna go over to settings, network, 
set up internet connection, use LAN cable, custom, PPPoE, use the following username and password. Next, automatic DNS, automatic MTU, and do not use a proxy server. That's it. So right now, I'm gonna plug in the Pico. It's already connected to the Ethernet adapter. Let's go ahead and go back, and this should it should boot and automatically start trying to connect. So there it goes. It's already booted up. It's already starting to uh, do the jailbreak. As you see right now, all my homebrew is locked. Cannot connect to the network. That's a good sign. It's currently running the exploit now, and it should be launching Golden Hen. There you go, luck foxed. Took two tries to get it jailbroken. My uh, Pi averages between three and five attempts. So there you go, now I can launch all my homebrew. Uh, the golden head and payload gets loaded up if it was already previous, previously installed. Now, again, if you have not jailbroken your PlayStation 4 in, uh, previously before using the luck fox or the your PC or even the Raspberry Pi, you will need to get a USB drive and copy the Gold Hen payload onto it, the Gold Hen bin, and put it into your USB port. If it's too big to fit in the front, there's one more USB port in the back, which can be a problem if you're trying to plug in the Pico Fox, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. But um, if you've ran it in the past, Gold Hen Bin is on the hard drive of the PlayStation 4. If not, it needs to load it from somewhere. So, But you only need to use a USB drive once. But once it's installed, you're good to go. So I hope this video wasn't too complicated. This is a little bit different from the things I normally do. Um, uh, but, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, be sure and click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and click the little bell icon. Become part of the notification squad. If you have any suggestions for future content or if you have any questions about this current video, be sure and leave your comments in the comment section below. Otherwise, all my links are in the description, Facebook, Patreon, etc. Let me know how I can help. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next time.